Hello everyone and welcome back to Flanders here in Europa South 4, eventually going to be the United Belgian States, yeah, something like that, that sounds good. Okay, well, um, oh, did I turn this off? Oh, I did turn it off, oh, oops, sorry, that's my uh, heater. Okay, so, I don't, yeah, I, I remember, so I was, I was recording the next episode and I just had to hop off real quick and I forgot to save. So now I'm auto save, and then I obviously didn't end up saving the last bit of recording, and I hadn't saved it right after I finished the last episode, so I just went with, you know, the auto save. Um, I don't really remember what we did in between episodes. I think I don't remember if that happened last episode or this episode, but we lost our claim on Calais, and we made a new one on Artois, and I don't. I feel like we're waiting for something. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, is this thing about aggressive expansion? Uh, oh, 30? Damn, that's actually kind of high. I didn't even realize the HRE was that high. Okay, we need to wait more time. I don't... Yeah. Okay, because I remember we hadn't started the war yet. I, just, I was just kind of confused what, what was going on there. Uh, yeah, I also do not hate... Uh, Scotland. Yes, yeah, in fact, they love me. Cool. Except they're out of Brittany, so fuck them. Uh, excuse me. Pardon my French. Get it, guys? Because cause we're, we're Flanders and we're like right next to France, you know? And pardon France because, you know, screw France. And... Guys, it's funny, okay? Eventually, I do want. I mean, I, I would like to start taking stuff to get us close to forming Belgium, but, you know, Calais is still a good place to take. I guess for the time being, we're just gonna let, uh, let the good times roll, you know? But now we're stressed out. Um, I'd also eventually like to cross the channel, you know, take uh, good old England. I mean, why not, right? Um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, bigger first to. Bigger, fi bigger fish to fly. Bigger fish. Bigger fish. Honestly. Honestly. Uh, improve. Wait a minute. That, like, improve relations over time. So, like, if I went over here, it was like 2.2. 2.6. Okay, it is that. Alright, nice. You're number three. Ooh, Muscovy. Muscovy is strong. Nice. All well, good for them. The second European nation. Oh, and they... Holy crap. Muscovy is very strong. Okay. Yeah, and they just took a bunch of stuff. Holy crap. Well, that's interesting, anyway. Uh, Malapolska looks like it got bigger. Same with Silesia. Oh, excuse me. Is Macedonia like a merchant? It is a merchant republic. Okay, that's strange. Also, is this a separate less? Yeah, okay. Look to plane. Perhaps a policy change is in order. Uh, I think Byzantium gained that recently. Who knows, to be honest. Um, Alexander is expanded, so is Fazan, it looks like. Leon is expanding right now. Oh no, that's Sevilla. Mm, okay. Uh, jeez, oh, guys. I don't feel that tired, but, uh, yawning, right? I'll grab some next, er, some, some next water for the water episode. I'll grab some water <laughs> for the next episode. Ah, uh, no, we want a new military candidate because I want a better general. Still not that good. Godfrey Penn. Assault crisis, oh no. Well, uh, I mean, it won't make that big of a difference. Well advised, possible advisors. Oh, that's cool, I guess. Um. Yeah, sure, this'll bring it back. 
and give us some money. Some, quote unquote. Yeah, it's alright. Advisors. <coughs> Damn, they have two forts. So do they, and so do they. Never mind. <sighs> forts for everybody. Happy populace. So yeah, let's see what what have we got so far. So tradition of payment. We've abolished serfdom. We know from reading the accounts of Roman times that this is an army of free men is far more willing to fight than those who are forced. We must make our peasantry fairly free, and they will fight to defend their freedom. We are leading a good country indeed. And after this, soon we'll get the Bill of Rights. We're getting the citizens certain fundamental rights. We reduce the likelihood of a peasant uprising. Few merchants and more reactionary and hidebound societies men a trade are looked down upon as some having lesser men than those who own land. Well, not for us. We know that wealth is power regardless of where it comes from. Free subjects, although giving a servant a damn good thrashing might be satisfying, it is not the best way to actually get them to work harder. Some natural philosopher has hit on the idea of making or er, hit on the idea of making profit the prime motivation people. If we replace monetary rents with payment in kind, our peasants will be incentivized to produce more. Yeah. So sorry about that. Let's see, free cities giving our cities self governance in matters of trade will allow us to open new profitable trade routes and emancipation for a long time we have restricted ownership of land to those we felt were trustworthy enough to, to only those who we felt were trustworthy enough if we were to lift those restrictions and land holding would be consolidated this in turn would create a pool of seasonal labor for whom the army life might be worth pursuing cute and now with the bill of rights also what is this mercantilism uh, no, it's okay. Alright, let's see what we got. The Battle of Golden Spurs. Oh no, the Admiral is dead. Sure. The Battle of Golden Spurs. Since the times of P Pieter de Konek, when we slaughtered many undisciplined French knight rabble, Flanders has had to buy her in advance with blood. Burgers and peasants, whose ancestors armed only with simple flails and godendags, or godendags. Oh, uh, morning stars, I believe. Yeah, I believe that's what it's supposed to be, but it's... Hmm. Um, ended the Age of Chivalrous Horsemen Charges and will join the ranks of our zealous infantry. Our infantry will even will keep even the strongest enemies at bay. Right, let's see what, what are some of the other things we can pick up. The birthplace of capitalism. The ancient cities of Bruges, Ghent, and Antwerp are among the richest in Europe and perhaps in the whole world to provide our country. Countless riches primarily from cloth manufacturing. With no counts or kings to supervise manufacturers or merchants, a new form of economic system has been born. Capitalism. No feudal lord will tell us how to make money. Damn straight. The Flemish Renaissance. Great artworks and masters like Van Eyck, Petrus Christus, and Van der Weyden. Really, Brabant? Enrich us with their beauty. Change our way of... Yeah, way of thought and manifest cultural independence of our cities and patricians. So now it's Flanders isn't... Why? Why have you done such a thing? Oh, why have you done this? Seriously, Brabant. Oldenburg and Luxembourg. You know, Luxembourg, you're, you're really just a problem there. Really love to kill you, but uh, it's not, not, gonna, not gonna happen here. Yeah, I still want to wait for that to go down. Let's go back to reading our uh, things. Uh, merchant is bankrupt. Um, okay. Legacy of Antwerp. River Scheldt Scheldt has seen innumerable ships docking in her estuary where the city of Antwerp lies. It isn't a secret that citizens of this main trade hub are Flemish, but the experience in shipkeeping and private def er, in pirate defense they have should be our secret only. Nice. Naval force element, heavy ship combat, that's pretty good. End the Bielden Storm. During the Reformation, groups of Calvin fanatics have begun to purge our churches out of religious sculptures and paintings due to our familiarity with such revolts in the past. We'll be able to return law and order much faster. Um, okay. Land of humanism. Despite what some may think, our merchants have more tolerance to improvements in philosophical progress than anybody else. Of course, only if these help them gain more wealth. But the more money we come across, the more refuge-seeking thinkers we will see. Stropendraggers. 
When citizens of Ghent rebelled against unjust taxes and tyranny of Emperor Charles VI in 1540, he stripped them out of privileges, guild laws, city walls, and even clothes. He made them beg for mercy barefoot with nooses around their necks as a symbol of their guilt. Flamens, however, never lose their spirit. Fla Flamen? Flamens? Even after such misfortunes, we stand bravely in defense of our freedom. In Gentiles, Gentiles, Gen Gentiles, our freedom and Gentiles, as well as every Flemish person, can proudly call himself a Struppendragger, a man that the spots would like to sentence to death. Jeez, I, I just butcher that. And the maximum of the culture is plus two at the end. I forgot, don't we have to be like, hey, we promote this? Okay. Well, yes, I would like to... I didn't know this is how this worked. Yeah. Sure, we'll accept Dutch. Oh we don't we know we don't want a cultural shift. No 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 no. No culture shifting here. Uh no we shall convert the Walloons. <laughs> It'll cost us more in the end, but I like seeing Flemish, there's only <laughs> one Belgium. One Belgium. Should have done this a while ago. Yeah, it's going to take us 10 years to do that. Um, but we can accept Dutch. Venice declared war on some dudes. Um, why don't we also. Oh, never mind. I believe it is time. Also, we can make. You know what? I want to make some big boy ships. Then I'll make two barks after that. Alright, I'm going to wait for these ships to be done and then we'll go ahead and give it to Picardy. Also, will Champagne. Champagne will join. Okay, they weren't going to join before. Friends, be our friend, be my friend. <laughs> um, sure. Now I can get a new dude. Yeah, he's not bad. I like the siege on him. I like the siege on you, boy. <laughs> Does Paris still control Paris? That they do. Stipulated in Catholic teachings. Alright, three stability, nice. Unite the Belgian states. Constitutional Republic, uh, that's probably gonna be. Because I don't think you get, like, constitutional. I think, uh, yeah. <laughs> admin, admin 22. Oops. Yeah, so maybe not. Free merchants. Do we really need more merchants? Yeah, I guess so. Why not? Uh, actually, no. I want to save up for the lumber. Because, let's see. Yeah, I already have three. Yeah, there's really not. I could collect trade from here. That's 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 not going to do much. Um, Rabant, who are you allied with? Oldenburg. Oldenburg wouldn't really be a problem. Luxembourg would be a problem. What I know. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a problem. Is that Burgundy over? No, it's Orleans. Ooh, Orleans is getting mighty strong. Uh, army. Yep, Sweden's doing its thing. Gotland. Well, alrighty then. Okay. The Pope discovers my spy network. Oh no. Not the Pope. God damn it, Big Bang. Ooh. And on second thought, this is the time. 
Okay, hello. Bar, what are you, what are you, who are you siding with Bar? Okay. We got everything. We got it all. Nice. Alright, siege the shit out of it. Oh, Champagne did join. I'm surprised. Do not think such a thing would occur. High nose in this war? Oh, hired by Champagne. Interesting. Ooh, how's that going for you, Normandy? about to have a lot stronger uh, of a navy very soon here okay hmm what to do with Picardy because I'm sure ooh nice they're going out at Burgundy and Orleans hopefully no I think Burgundy, yeah, Burgundy and Orleans are actually friends. Damn. Okay, uh, no, I want to see Coalition. Yeah, it's, it's gone down, though. And since we're really not going to be pissing off people in the Empire, this won't be too bad. Calais. Okay. Nobody should be too pissed off, though. There we go. Big boy ships. Hells, yes. <laughs> yeah. Over force limit, seriously? Oh, damn. Well, let's get rid of the cog. I mean, I don't think it matters all that much, but you know. Um, we can stand that down. Sure. Limber. Yeah, I, I just want to take all this. Thank you. Come again. Okay. This what? Yeah, remove Picardy from the map. Cool. 